In this video, we'll be solving example 9.5. This one reads, head circumference among newborn babies is known to be normally distributed with a mean of 35.0 centimeters and a standard deviation of 5.0 centimeters. What percentage of newborns have head circumferences larger than that of a baby whose head circumference is 30 centimeters? So we are told here that the mean for the entire population is 35 centimeters and we're told that the standard deviation is five centimeters and the question that we have is uh, how, what percentage of babies can be expected to have a head circumference greater than 30 centimeters so what we have to recognize here is that uh, 30 centimeters if we take away the mean 35 centimeters we are five centimeters below the mean so five centimeters below the mean, coincidentally, is the standard deviation. So we are one standard deviation below the mean. So let's take a look at what that means by looking at the uh, normal shaped bell curve. And what we see here is that being one standard deviation below the mean means that there are this many newborns below you in head circumference and there's this many people uh, newborns ahead of you, higher than you in head circumference. So what we need to do is to add up all of these percentages indicated in each of these standard deviation bins. So we would add up 34.13 for this bin, 34.13 for this bin, plus 13.59, plus 2.14, plus 0.13. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. And so we would be adding up, um, bring in the calculator, uh, we would be adding up 34.13 plus another 34.13 plus 13.59 plus 2.14 plus 0.13 and add it all together we find that this sum is 84.12 percent and that is the percentage of all newborns who could be expected to have a head circumference greater than this value of 30 centimeters and that is how we work example 9.5